for the latest, uh, let's reach out, of course, to our reporter, uh, Simpio Makanya, who's uh, live there for us. A very good afternoon to you, Simpio. All right, let's talk about it then. Talk us through uh, these particular preparations at the palace that are taking place today and how the community is feeling ahead of tomorrow's events. And maybe perhaps you can take us through this lion capturing uh, ritual that we've been really hearing a lot about um, through social media and also, you know, people just talking about this uh, particular lion that has been brought in uh, to the palace and, and the significance of it and what it signifies, really. Indeed, uh, Flo, good afternoon to you and good afternoon to the viewers at home. Certainly, preparations are in full swing here at uh, Gwakangela Mankengane Royal Palace, ahead, of course, of tomorrow, where we are going to be witnessing that historic uh, event, if one may call it that, of uh, King Misuzu Lukazuelitin entering the kraal here at Gwakangela Mankengane. Uh, this uh, event, uh, Flo, is significant in the sense that it's basically the last step uh, before the official coronation where the king will then be coronated. But to answer your initial question, Flo, about the the, the lion, uh, we did hear from Inyo see uh, earlier on my colleague Bo Bongani Gema spoke to uh, the, pra the king's praise singer Mdeje, uh, who was basically taking us through that process and what he witnessed as he went out uh, with the king yesterday on a hunt for that lion and he did confirm to us indeed that uh, the king was able to kill the lion and they brought it back here at uh, Gwakangela Mankengane Royal Palace uh, before obviously that uh, event uh, that is going to be taking place uh, tomorrow but Flo of course uh, this is happening uh, Oh, uh, uh, and we know that there are still divisions that are, are really affecting this uh, royal household of uh, Amazulu nation. Yesterday, we saw uh, two, uh, three rather princes who held a media briefing being led by Prince Mbonisi, who were basically putting forward their preferred candidate for this uh, very crucial position in the Amazulu royal family. They are saying that uh, they feel as though that they have been neglected by some people who have been behind the organizing of uh, this event that is going to be taking place tomorrow flow without uh, mentioning names they even went as far as to say that uh, king misuzulu gazwelitini must quote unquote not allow himself to be used by politicians uh, he was basically they were basically referring to the, to the effect that, uh, of course, we know that uh, uh, Amazulu, uh, uh, traditional prime minister, Prince Mangosu Tumtelezi, has been in the forefront of uh, organizing uh, this uh, event that is going to be taking place tomorrow. Uh, but uh, earlier on, we did hear from those who are responsible for organizing the coronation of the king, saying that uh, uh, they remain unfazed by what is happening, uh, even going as far as to call uh, the, the, that event that was held yesterday by Prince Mbonisi and two other princes, that's Prince uh, Vulindela uh, as well, saying that uh, these are just basically sideshows and the Amazulu nation must not be confused because they know who the yeah, king is. Uh, in this case, we know, of course, that uh, the government of uh, the country has been assisting uh, this process of preparing for tomorrow's event. And of course, we know that uh, the issue of coronation is still on the cards. And uh, while that process is still on the cards flow, there is also another issue that is uh, <laughs> developing in terms of the court case. Uh, the Supreme Court of Appeal earlier on uh, ruling uh, that, uh, in fact, uh, the first uh, queen, Queen Sibongine, uh, can appeal the decision of uh, the Piramarisberg High Court, where Judge Madondo uh, ruled uh, that, uh, in fact, uh, the king, uh, the, 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 the first queen, rather, is not entitled to 50% of the late king's estate. A lot of problems facing this family, but uh, it would seem uh, that, uh, Flo, those uh, side developments are not affecting, really, the process that uh, you are expecting to take place tomorrow. Yeah, and, you know, uh, one would then have to wonder, you know, after the coronation, if, you know, and, and it's clear that there are tensions and uh, I, don't, I don't know if I'm using the correct uh, terminology here when I say tensions but I would assume these are tensions that we're talking about that these particular tensions would then cease to to exist I mean uh, the fact remains that we'd still see this contestation for for the throne and that the Queen's battle for this 50% that she's been uh, asking for wouldn't actually cease uh, how is that spilling over you know
know, you've said that, you know, they're going to carry on nonetheless. But how is that spilling over in terms of uh, showing those divisions that may perhaps exist within the royal family? Because I would imagine that, you know, some would side here and some would side on the opposite end. What can you tell us about anything that's, that's actually visibly, uh, you know, showing or telling about what's happening within uh, the royal house? The royal family uh, uh, household floor is still very much divided uh, when you look at the issue of the succession. Of course, we know uh, that uh, uh, Prince Mangosu Tubtilizi has been on record saying that uh, uh, that issue is basically water under the bridge uh, because, uh, according to him, uh, King Misuzulu Gazuelitin is already on the throne. But of course, uh, if uh, some senior members of the royal family, such as Prince Mbonisi, Prince uh, Vulindela as well, going in public saying that they do not recognize pre King Misuzulu as the rightful heir to the throne. That obviously is a, a great call, co- it causes a great uh, concerns rather, a cause for concern for those who are uh, basically part of this family because they even yesterday Flo went as far as to say that they are the ones who are supposed to be conducting this ceremony that is going to be taking place tomorrow ensuring that uh, the, uh, the king king royal palace floor but uh, of course uh, the the test now is going to be uh, to see whether King Misuzulu Gazulitin will be able to manage these divisions because the issue of trust has been raised constantly by those who have been, you know, analyzing this process, saying that there is now a great deal of uh, trust deficit amongst the royals from these uh, different. Uh, you know, households uh, that uh, they come from. Uh, if, if you look at the the issue of the six palaces that are that are here uh, in the uh, KwaZulu Natal province. Uh, governing, of course, the issue of the Amazulu Royal Palace. So it's going to be interesting to see how King Misuzulu Gazolitin will be able to maneuver uh, his way in terms of dealing with the tensions and the divisions that are still very much visible. Uh, If you look at the fact that some senior members of the uh, family are saying that they are not going to be part of this uh, event that is going to take place tomorrow, well, going as far as to say that uh, they are considering it as basically trespassing. All right. Uh, Many thanks to you, our senior reporter, uh, SABC News reporter there, Simpue Makanya, out for us uh, in uh, KZN, no doubt. Uh, We'll be hearing from him uh, quite a lot tomorrow as uh, that uh, particular uh, ritual, uh, Okungena Esbayeni, does uh, take place uh, tomorrow. And certainly our KZN team will have all of that uh, for us.